to all you golden peoples. How goes the day? Hope the day's been grand. Now let's get on to yet another video. With watch parties, Twitch communities can come together to watch, react, and discuss movies or shows from Prime on Twitch. Available to everyone on the desktop web, so of course they're kind of working on things for mobile yet, so we're yet to hear about that. So what you need to do in order to get this enabled is go to the stream manager within your creator dashboard, click the plus in the quick actions panel, and then you can add it to your watch parties. Once you do that, you can click the watch parties quick action to launch a feature. Of course, you might have to authorize your device, so a first time login may be required. So click login, sign up, sign in with your account. And once you've done that, then of course you can move on to the next step. Uh, so the big thing here, of course, is when it comes to selecting the content, you can use the Watch Parties catalog to search and select any movie or TV show that is available with your Prime subscription. And viewers outside of your region can join your party if the title is available within their subscription. Look for titles with the label Broadly Available. This means the regional availability will vary, but most Prime subscribers on Twitch can watch this content. Finally, click the Select Title to confirm your selection, and there you go. So one thing about your webcam, and the video that comes with that is the video content selected in watch parties will automatically stream to the main video player on your channel when you click start watch party. But for your webcam, it'll stream to a slot right above the chat and be used for the thumbnails and stuff in the browse section, those that are browsing around looking at videos that they can choose from. It won't really show the prime video, but it will just show your generic webcam broadcast that you have there. So of course, you might be wondering how to start a watch party. So in order to launch a party, you have to start your broadcast first. So once you've done that, whether it's from like say Streamlabs OBS, OBS, or you know Twitch itself, whatever it may be, whatever program you use, just make sure you start your broadcast first. And then once you've done that, you can move on to actually starting the watch party. So you'd select start watch party, and then Prime Video will automatically input the video source into that player on your channel. Your webcam will then display above the chat, like I said before. So of course you can open that up on another window so you can review and see how it looks. And one thing to make sure we point out is that TOS already does have its observation when it comes to the Prime video that it'll be fine. But as for a broadcaster and the community that's browsing it and watching it with you, you still have to make sure you're watching out for that. And one thing, of course, that everyone's going to be asking is what about the viewers that are outside of our region? But as for that, what you want to do is, again, look for that broadly available in the watch parties list. And this will give you the best opportunity for your viewers. And a quick note is you must be using a desktop web source to watch. When joining a stream with an ongoing watch party, you will be asked to log in for the first time. And of course, this is for those who want to watch it. This is necessary to confirm what is available to you along with your Prime subscription. And of course, as a viewer logging in, you want to be able to authorize your device and that it's you. So for a viewer that's watching, what you want to do is log in with your Amazon account. And of course, once it links, you're good to go. And one further question that people might be wondering, of course, is when it comes to those uh, sketchy videos that might be a little mature or a little bit uh, on the edge, the videos available in the watch parties may contain titles that does have that kind of sketchiness to it. But the thing about that, of course, is that the Twitch TOS has already approved of those selected videos and the content involved. But you as a streamer, like I said before, you're subject to the same remaining content on your channel when it comes to TOS. So make sure you are looking out for that and you are watching your chat and you're seeing what people are talking about and you're covering Twitch TOS altogether. Anyhow, there it is. It's just a quick rundown of the watch party situation. If you like this video, you can find more upcoming videos the moment it drops by vibing that subscription button and notification bell. Thank you all for watching and checking in. Leave us a comment below if you have video requests for the channel. I'll leave you with the reference links below as well. And as always, spread the golden vibes, and I'll catch you on the flip.